And I thought Meg had a lot to offer. Jump on this shark week three. <laughs> The Trench by Steve Alton. This 1999 sequel was written and published around two years after Meg, and you can tell the author improved in a lot of his ways in writing since that book. Welcome to day five of my Shark Week 3 Beyond the Species titled Megalodon Mayhem. Let us begin. The plot, Jonas, Terry, Mac, and Maso are back. The infant shark from the first, now named Angel, is being held in the Tanaka Institute that was originally for whales, and all is going okay. However, one day some heathens break into an observation room and taunt Angel by baiting on the glass and such other immature acts. Bad move. She takes none too kindly to the shenanigans, and promptly busts through the plexiglass and eats their troubled asses. After several pleads to build a higher wall so she won't escape, because she's becoming increasingly agitated, even before those negative poops fucked with her, that was more of a triggering point, she inevitably escapes. Now she must be hunted down and brought back alive. Celeste and Benedict, two investors, work with the group, more against than with, to bring Angel home. Meanwhile, down in the trench, Terry and Benedict are at odds. Some of the crewmen are vile, and a pack of new creatures are on the prowl. I trimmed a lot off that plot because so much happens in this book. The bulk of the story takes place on a ship chasing the Megalodon and a sub in the trench. Is this better than the first, though? Let me tell you what I think after going into some more things. First off, this book is well written and has a strong story. It is a great follow up. The characters are either likable or despicable, yet you want to see even more of the despicable ones than the likable ones sometimes, because everyone just has these interesting quirks about them. And the suspense is insanely taut. The negatives I have are nitpicky, and I could even be completely wrong. But ascending from the trench, that kills Megalodon because of the cold barrier. But is there a difference between that and descending? I don't know, because Angel does it just fine. It is nitpicky, I know, but it does raise some questions. The whole book is a real page-turner, and nitpicky things like that can just get in the way. I love that Alton retained some of the character traits of Jonas, Terry, Mac, and Maso. Jonas is in fear of a dream he's having and is dragging Terry with him, sort of like Maggie from the first book. Terry is very strong-minded, very clever, which I very much prefer rather than her instigating Jonas all the time. Like in the first book, she's actually quite the badass in the story, and a very strong character. Mac is a funny and daring guy. Maso is sort of useless, but still needed for the character's sake. The gore, the description of death in this book is horrific. You thought the first book had a gnarly head implosion? This book has that times 30. Also, the scenes where someone is being swallowed whole by a megalodon are pure nightmare fuel. This is an excellent book. I'm gonna have to give it the same rating. Overall, I give The Trench by Steve Alton a 4.5 out of 5. Lion Brian Gatto, host of horror show movie reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below to leave comments and subscribe.